Tuesday night, the Board of Selectmen gathered for their regularly scheduled meeting. Both appointments on the agenda were canceled because of application withdrawals and surrendering of licensing. The Board discussed concerns regarding liquor licensing. Selectman Tom Maloney suggested that a policy document be drafted to outline the rules and expectations of a liquor license grant. So, you know, that, that, that's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm loath, to, frankly, to put almost anything in writing, sorry, because it, I'm sort of anti-bureaucratic, I think, in the extremes. But this is a case where, you know what it is? It's a matter of putting, it's, it's a matter of codifying past practice and just making sure that on the first violation, here's what we are likely to do, subject to selectmen's uh, endorsement in this case. Second violation, here's what we're likely to do. But we, we have to be mindful of the fact that the first violation could be something really, really egregious that requires more than what's in the guideline. And a, a fourth violation could happen 15 years after the third, in which case you could say, well, it's the first in a recent time. So, I mean, we have to leave plenty of room for the Board of Selectmen to, to, to uh, exercise proper judgment on the matter. but. Something in writing, I think, at least it gives us something to fall back on, too. Earlier this week, the Board of Selectmen and representatives from the Skating Club of Boston attended the groundbreaking ceremony for the new arena. Maloney gave his thoughts on the ceremony and the project in his addenda. More to the, more, on a more sort of a little more seriously, I think this, the coming of the Skating Club of Boston to this area, well, to Norwood and to the area in general, is a great boon to, it will be a great boon to our economy. Uh, to our social life. It is an enriching thing socially, economically, uh, fiscally. I think it will be as well. Uh, and uh, I want to I will particularly thank um, uh, Mr. Bazuko for all his hard work, Mr. Plasco even more so for all the work that he put in on this, along with uh, uh, my chairman, uh, my, uh, Mr. Bishop, and also uh, Mr. John Carroll, uh, who was sort of behind the whole thing several years ago when we all, it wasn't even on our radar, but it was on his. And so it has come to pass. It is a great thing for this town, and we look forward to the next 107 years of success of the Skating Club of Boston. The Board of Selectmen's next meeting will be Tuesday, May 21st at 6.30 p.m. In Room 11, the Cable Commission met with a few agenda items. NCM Executive Director Jack Tolan gave an update on the new HD channel for Verizon customers and plans for its upcoming launch. Daryl Hanson from Norwood Light Broadband appeared before the board to discuss alternative viewing strategies. The next Cable Commission meeting will take place in the coming weeks. Just next door, the Trails Advisory Committee met in Room 12 of Town Hall. The committee discussed a potential collaboration with Impact Norwood about a park adoption proposal. Um, Impact Norwood has got basically a grant to try to positively influence Norwood High School and Coakley Middle School. And so I don't know what parks are around there, if they can adopt a park or something. I mean, that would be, see, I don't, I don't know how the mechanism works on that. They're looking for ideas. If we're looking for ideas, if we have a park that needs, like, you know, 20 person hours of maintenance, that wouldn't get done otherwise. It, it would give them something to, um, to take, you know, pride in. And mm -hmm. so we do win-win, sure. I think. But I haven't asked Audrey about it yet. The next Trails Advisory Committee meeting is scheduled for May 28th. To watch complete government coverage, tune into the NCM Government Channel or watch it on demand at nordcommunitymedia.org.